missing 13-year-old Atlanta girl is safe, but the search is still on for the 16-year-old boy she was with. You probably got that Amber Alert on your phone late last night about Adija Little. Fox News' Brittany Edney joins us from the live desk. And uh, Brittany, how did investigators wind up finding her? Well, from technology to social media canvassing and even an attempted traffic stop, Atlanta Public Schools authorities say that they used a variety of resources to help locate and bring the little girl back home. Now, because she has been brought back home and is a minor, we are no longer showing her face. Adija Little disappeared Wednesday afternoon from David Howard Middle School. APS police investigator Kimberly Chambly got on the case. She says the search started with social media canvassing and calling the girl's phone. We actually had them to pick up at one point on FaceTime, which was actually how we was able to um, get a subject, a suspect. She explained 16-year-old Emmanuel Williams wouldn't let her talk. At that point, we continued to utilize technology to try to determine where she was, um, which took us several places throughout the city. At one point, we got had another visual on the vehicle, um, tried to initiate a stop, refused to stop. Investigators say that's when they issued the Amber Alert. Someone in the community then saw her photo on television, recognized her, and called police. Adija got dropped off in a neighborhood near Donald Lee Hollowell Parkway in northwest Atlanta. We're very thankful for them watching the TV, you know, being engaged in the community, and calling us and letting us know. And as soon as they did, we dispatched our officers, as well as Atlanta um, Police Department out there to to make sure that she was safe and got her home safely. Atlanta Public Schools police say they do not want the community to approach Williams should they spot him. They say they do have concerns that he could be dangerous. From the live desk, I'm Brittany Edney for Fox 5 News. I'm glad she was at least found safe and returned home. Uh, Brittany, thanks.